Okay, Stevie, uh, any complaints about the result? No, to be honest, I don't think so. Um, obviously, get our nose in front. We should kick on and, and win the game, but we just got a very scrappy, got bitty the game. And you know, always, whenever a game goes like that and you don't force your will on the opponent and, and go and hammer home the advantage, you always leave yourself susceptible to <coughs> to a little bit of a sucker, and that's what we done. Yeah, started really well, and then when Pat missed the penalty, it just seemed to knock the wind out of our sails. Yeah, I thought we started the game well against the elements. It was quite a strong wind. And yeah, as you said, even even pre we went one up, just after the penalty, it seemed to yeah, we got a little bit sort of edgy and a little bit bitty, and the second half continued on in that way. So overall, uh, we're disappointed. There's no other way of putting it. Um, more so probably from our physicality and what we brought to the game in that regard than anything else. Yeah. We we're talking about UCD, the Collingwood Cup games this week. I think you could actually see that the. The, you know the sort of the flow in the game there at, at times in the second half. <coughs> yeah, well, to be fair, you see they went man to man against us, and and as you said, they, they were they're athletically good and 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 they deserved a point. Uh, I'm not going to say any different. I don't think we've done enough to come in here and say comprehensively. Yeah, we deserve to win the game. So um, that's the disappointing part. You can get games. I've been involved in a lot of them as well, playing here, the wind and that's a pretty games where you make sure you're you're on the front foot and you're aggressive physically and you win your sort of duels and your individual battles and you go and just when you go one up you go on and win the game and that's a disappointing aspect we didn't ram home the advantage and um you can't you can't I can't stand here and say I can't believe we drew the game yeah positives John Martin really good really good finish first game first game of the season in the goal he frustrating here last year with niggles but hopefully that'll kick him on yeah even after the first week of pre-season he had a niggle he was out for a few weeks but He's in really good physical condition, done well. Uh, as you said, good position coming in, ball on the upside, comes in uh, narrow on the loop uh, and a good finish. So, yeah, John, very positive for him to get off the score sheet and, you know, we'll take this one on the chin and we'll get ready now for Bowes next Friday. Yeah, And Dickie coming back after a, a long layoff, brilliant to see him back in the pitch. Yeah, I thought he looked sharp for the few minutes he was on. Um, this week's probably been his first proper week of training, so... He'll keep progressing, but that'll be good for his confidence with his hamstring, the speed he hit, and uh, you know, uh, great for him mentally, and he can look forward to a good week's training now next week. Yeah, we've an update on John Mountney. Unfortunately, it's it's bad news. He he he's going <coughs> to undergo an operation on the yeah. Look, if ever a man didn't deserve it, it's John Mountney, and um, that's his second cruise in a year and a half, and the amount of work he put in to get back, and such how how good a professional he is, and how thorough he is, and. What a good influence he is around the place. He, he's the last man that deserves it, to be honest with you. But he still have a massive part to play. He, he's um, That's what people don't see. They don't see between Monday and Thursday or Monday and Friday, the influence people have. And John's one of our, our main influences. And just the way he conducts himself, even though I think he's in for the operation this week uh, in his rehab and that he'll still be have a massive part to play. He's one of the biggest influences. And he, he's a dun he's a Dundalk as a player he's a legend um, and as I said heartbroken for him so was, so are all the the players and the staff but he'll come back stronger because he's already in doing full gym sessions making sure his knee's strong going in for the operation come Thursday so really disappointed for him and as I said that the the man that deserves it the least without a shadow of a doubt yeah. and just finally it feels like a defeat because everybody was buzzing and really looking forward to the season but. A crowd of over nearly three and a half thousand in tonight for the the first game of the season. We can keep that sort of crowd coming here every second week. It'll 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 really help us. Yeah, brilliant crowd. Look, I, they'd be going home frustrated. We would be <coughs> too optimistic of, of what they saw tonight. That's that's our issue. Um, as I said, there's bitty games at Oriel. There has been, but you just win the physical duels, and you you front foot it and you go and win the game by two or three. We didn't do that. That's the most disappointing aspect. But as you said, the crowd were brilliant, cheering us on. We're going to need that. It's kind of a new team again. Um, so looking forward to seeing them in their big numbers come Friday week. But or sorry, next Friday away at Daily Mount. I think there's four fifty at their tickets. So look forward to hear them full voice, and hopefully we can put on a better display than than tonight. Thanks, Stevie. Thanks, Gav.